Well, good Tuesday evening, everybody. Taylor Plot here with a tropical update. We have Invest 94L out in the Atlantic. So what does that mean for us here in the United States? Will we see another impact or will it just stay out to sea? That's what we'll be talking about. So let's go ahead and dive on in and get right to it. Here's the National Hurricane Center seven-day outlook, and there is a 50-50 shot at this Invest 94L at becoming our next tropical system. We also have a spot down in the southwestern Caribbean that has a low chance of development over the next seven days, but if that does develop, it would just move west into parts of Central America. But our eyes are on that uh, one system that is out in the middle of the Atlantic that has that 50-50 shot. Here's what it looks like right now. There's a lot of shower and storm activity on the western side of this circulation, which is right about here. It's been battling some dry air across the region, but as it starts to continue to move to the west, it will be getting into more of a moist environment, a little bit more favorable for development. But the only question is, will it be able to take advantage of that? So if it gets more shower and storm activity going across this uh, area of spin that is out there, then the chances of seeing a tropical system start to go up as we go later on in the week. Now, what about those tracks? Since it is an invest, that means we're investigating this system. That means it's, there's going to be some model guidance that will be able to show what potential tracks it could be taking. And it, on its current trajectory, it will be moving into possibly the Eastern Caribbean later on in the week. But there's also a chance it just kind of skirts it to the north a little bit and doesn't really get into the Caribbean. But it will be impacting the Caribbean islands down there. It will start getting close to the Windward Islands later on in the week, probably here in the next day or two. And uh, I say day or two, probably a little bit longer than that, maybe a couple of days. And then eventually we'll be getting close to Puerto Rico and Hispaniola by the time we get into the weekend. And it could probably, it probably will just sit there. Uh, what's going to happen, I'll show you here in a, just a little bit, or the steering currents will start to, to kind of just break down. So the movement that it's, it's going, it's getting pushed to the west. There's not going to be a lot of a push anymore, but that will change once we get into next week as we get more troughing activity across the eastern U.S., and that will impact where this actually goes. Now, as for the intensity, the intensity guide has been kind of going back and forth with this thing. It's not surprising, uh, given the fact that it really hadn't developed yet, and it's still struggling to get going. So the intensity guidance has been lowered, at least on the model guidance perspective, and I think that's probably a good bet. So right now, most of the model guidance hints that this should be uh, probably just a tropical storm at its maximum intensity, but there's a chance that it could become a minimal hurricane once we get into next week, as you see here with some of those models showing that uh, Cat 1 status. Now, what about those steering currents like I'm talking about? So this is next Sunday. I drew a red circle. That is where Invest 94L, or if it is named at that point, whatever designation it is, that is going to be the position it's generally going to be in once we get into next Sunday right around the Hispaniola area. You notice we have a trough to the north, so that really doesn't have much of an influence on it, but you notice how, if you take a look at these lines, if you follow these lines up here, winds moving west to east, you see those lines that are getting closer and closer together, those are stronger winds. You see lines that are further and further apart, like you see here out in the Atlantic, that means that there's really not a lot of wind activity at the mid-level of the atmosphere, which would be kind of pushing these systems along. So the steering currents really start to break down once we get into the weekend. So anything that is down there in the Caribbean or Western Atlantic will just sit there for a little bit. It'll move a little bit, but it will really just sit there across that region for a couple of days. Now, this is where I say that the chances of seeing a U.S. impact with this aren't really high. So as we go into Tuesday, I drew that circle again so that it's still kind of in that uh, same general vicinity, uh, probably getting closer to the uh, eastern Bahamas uh, at that point. But notice this trough. Notice those lines here. Now we're starting to get some troughing activity across the eastern U.S. again, and that will start to influence this system and we'll start to nudge it a little bit further to the north and eventually the northeast once this trough starts to move through so that is the pattern that is going to most likely be in place and that will keep this 
more than likely from impacting uh, the East Coast of the United States, Florida, or even getting into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the high pressure that we have situated across the eastern United States now and then eventually another reinforcing shot of uh, some cooler air with some high pressure next week uh, across parts of the region, that will keep that system most likely away from the United States. So we will continue to watch this, but right now, all guidance, at least in the mid and long term, hint that anything that does develop from this will move west towards the Caribbean, towards Puerto Rico, maybe Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, and uh, we'll sit there for just a little bit, and then once we get this next trough that moves in, that will start to kick it further to the northeast and will likely keep it away from land. Of course, with anything tropic out there, tropical activity out there, we'll watch things, we'll watch trends closely, but for now, I don't buy this as being a impactful storm uh, to the United States. There's a lot of stuff going on social media saying Florida better prepare for its next hurricane. Oh, we got a big one coming. Here we go. I don't buy that. I don't buy that right now. The model guidance does not support that idea. Uh, I will say that if there was a major threat to to the United States, the model guidance would most likely be all over it. Uh, and right now, it's all over the idea that this just kind of sits across the Caribbean for a little bit, and then we'll eventually get picked up by the next trough moving in next week, and we'll be, get moved off to the northeast. Again, like I mentioned, we'll continue to watch this, but that's basically what we've got cooking for us in the tropics right now. That's your tropical update here on Tuesday. We'll continue to watch things like I mentioned, and stay tuned for the next tropical update coming on later this week.